Just days after Miami-Dade reopened schools for in-class learning, several students have now tested positive for COVID-19. And now concerns are rising that there could be more on the way. Let's get right to Local 10's Hatzel live now with what we know about these positive cases so far. Hatzel. Well, Kevin, we believe tonight we have four schools in Miami-Dade County dealing with COVID-19. One of them right here in Northwest Miami-Dade, Charles Weish Elementary. You can see if you walk here, the front door will remind parents that if you're bringing your kids, make sure they are not sick. Tonight, sources inside the district tell us Poinciana Park Elementary in Northwest Miami-Dade is dealing with COVID-19. We're told the entire special education department has to go on quarantine and there's a special meeting tomorrow morning. We're also being told there are cases in Weish Elementary in Miami Gardens and Holmes Elementary in Miami. Earlier today, the district confirmed William Lehman Elementary in Kendo had one student who tested positive. Parents got the call at 7.30 this morning. The student, teacher and classmates are all out asked to test and quarantine for 14 days. At the school, signs indicated the school was electrostatically disinfected. We immediately initiated the contract tracing investigation. The teachers union believes there are more cases, six schools in total, they say. After the new cases tonight, the president says, in part, unfortunately, despite loudly voicing our concerns about a premature reopening of schools, we now find ourselves in complete fear and misery after only four days of partial reopenings, both parents and teachers alike. On Wednesday, we learned Doral Charter was the first school with a case since reopening. Back at Lehman Elementary, some parents remain confident. I, I trust the school with, with my eyes closed. Tonight, the superintendent, as well as the teachers union, reminding parents to talk to their kids. If they feel like the kids are not all there, if they're a little bit off, just keep them home. For now, reporting live in Northwest Miami-Dade, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News. All right.